Space Oddity. So we'll start with the chords. On the opening, it kind of fades in over these two chords. Now I'm playing here basically an F, but with an open B and an open E. So I'm getting an F with a major 13th, the B, and a major 7th, the E. Now I think that's what he's playing. Because you can kind of hear the low notes in the in the opening, and also it sounds like there's that kind of slightly discordant B. But you could just play it as a standard F major seven. It's a little sweeter. So whichever one you want to play, it's fine, you know. But I like that kind of slightly discordant sound of this chord. And to an E minor. And I'm playing just a standard E minor, and just at the end of the chord, just playing a little open A, hammer to B, and an open D. So... And 
Now we're into ground control to Major Tom. So we start the C. And if you notice when Bowie plays the C, he usually plays the G on the third fret as well, at the bottom string. To E minor. C. E minor. And A minor. Take your... Then just put a G in the bass. So from the A minor chord, I'm just using my little finger to play G on three on the bottom string. And then I'm going to a D chord and putting also an F sharp in the bass. So the bass is going. So I'm playing. Or you could just simply play a D, especially if you've got a bass player, because they'll take care of that F sharp. Okay, so we're going A minor, A minor over G, D over F sharp. That's just a normal D with two on the bottom string. And then we're into a repeat C, ground control to major, E minor. C, E minor, A minor, A minor over G, and then just stop on the D over F sharp, and just hold that, and there's some other guitars I put in there, which we'll look at later, before we come in to the chorus, and the chorus comes back in on a C, to E7. So I've got C, E7, F, F minor, papers to C, back to F, F minor, C, F, and then repeat, back to C. F, just repeating. F minor, G, F, C sorry, F minor, C, F, F minor, C, F. Okay, so that repeats, so we've got C to E7, F, F minor, C, F, F minor, C, F. And then from that F we go to, uh, I'm just taking my, fingers off to play the first chord we played. So basically playing the intro chords. So just that F minor with a major 6, major 13 and 9. Then B flat, planet Earth is A minor, and blue, and there's G, in I can. then F, and then I'm just taking my finger off, play a little bass, E to F, so. And then we're into this little riff, so I played C, and then open E, F, open E, G, open E, A, A. And then we're into the guitar solo. So start with an F major 7. We'll look at the solo properly when I swap guitars, but F major 7. E minor. A. C D E so just an E major there and then we're back into partial chorus C E7 
F minor. C. F. My wife, F minor. C. F. And now we change to the bridge. Down control to major tone. So I'm going G, E, E7. You're Sir A minor. A minor over G. Can you? So. D major tone, C major major tone, G major major tone. Can you hear? Back into the forty round the tin can section. The F with the B and E to E minor. And then just like before, B flat, A minor, G. Seven, E minor, A, C, D, then an E5, to a fade out, so I'm just playing open E, 7, 9, 9, open B, open E. Cordy also uses on Andy Warhol on the play out. And I just keep that E going on onto a fade. Okay, on the record there, fades out. So that's the chords, and next we'll take a look at those lead parts. So for the lead guitar, I started with some harmonics. An E to B to E to a B an octave higher. So I'm just playing 12 on the E string, just tapping it, just playing and releasing my finger as I pick it. Same with the B on the 12th fret of the B string. Back to the 12th fret of the E string. And then 7th fret of the E string. Okay. And then uh, we, on the kind of section pre-chorus, uh, I had one guitar, I put, played an F. And I put lots of effects on that. I put a kind of filter and a tremolo in that and some delay just to give it that kind of spacey, kind of psychedelic sound. And then I had a slide. And what I did was I started on B on seven. And then as I got up, I just slide it up. And then as I got to the 13, I just hit the C on the B string. So I'm playing the E string. And, as I, and I'm just keep, I just keep continuing them kind of randomly, just going all the way up the neck as far as I can go to take it into the chorus. Okay, so just, just, just keeping it going up the neck. Okay, then we're into the chorus, and then we've got a little breakdown section, dum ba dum ba dum ba dum dum, and then we're into the guitar solo. So over the F major 7 chord, I play, I play an A, C, D, C, A. So that's on the D string, 7, then on the G string, 5, 7, 5, a little slight kind of pull. Back to 7 on the D string. And then I'm going over the E minor chord, E, so 7 on the A string now, 5, 7 on the D string, G to A, back to G, back to E on 7 on the A string, and A on 5, and just slide that down. And then we've got... Over the A chord, I'm playing five, uh, seven on the D string and A, and five to six, hammer, so C to C sharp, and then E, A, five, five. It's very kind of Chuck Berry, that kind of stuff. 
So then G, A on eight. Back to five. So A five on the B string. And hammer again from five to six. And finish on seven on the D string. And then I'm playing over the C chord, C on 10, of the D string, and then playing eight and eight together on the G and B strings, and, and immediately hammering to nine on the G string. Then playing 10 and 10 with my third finger on the G and B strings. So I'm going from E and G to F and A. And then again, do that hammer from eight to nine on the G string. So then eight, so it's 10, eight, 10. So 10, eight, 10 on the D string, C, B flat, C. And then that hammer on eight and eight, hammering with the second finger to nine on the G string to E. So. And then just play the same thing two frets higher. So now we're over the chord of D. And then, and then over the E. And there's a kind of big dip on that E on the end, so I think it might be some sort of effect that they're using. But I'm just playing E, G, G with a little bend. So two on the D string, three, three. Open E. So Okay, and then later we've got over the ground control to major tom your on over circuits we've got just playing some octaves. I'm just sliding from C to D, back to C. So five and eight on the G and E strings. Sliding to seven and 10, back to five and eight. And then we go C to D, C to D, C to D. So just repeat that. And then here, and then the here, I'm floating around my tin can go the other way is C to B and that hits that chord okay so just throw those little octaves in there which are nice and then we've also got a play out solo and we start the same way okay so it's basically a variation of the first solo with a few little extra bits so just play that lick the first one the same and then so the next one I played a little that lick so I'm sliding from A to B from 7 to 9 on the D string and then 9, 10, 9, 7, 9, 7 so E, F, E, D, E, D then B, A, B, A so on the D string 9, 7, 9, 7 G on 10 finish on an E on 7 ok and then we're back to the the A lick that we played earlier and then over C we've got this nice so I'm playing so I'm playing a C chord as a sweep so just as I play it I kind of relax my fingers so it doesn't it just doesn't ring out so so I'm playing then I'm playing 12 then C so the C chord 12, 8, 8, then a sus4 note, F, 
to E, so on the G string, 10 to 9. Then C to G, 10, 10. Then 8 to 7. So just slide that down and then re-pick to... So 8, 7, 8, 7. Land on 8. And then we've got... Just playing... Classic kind of Chuck Berry style there again. And I'm playing 12. 12 on the G and B strings. So on the D chord now. Then 10 and 10. Hammer to 11 on the G string. Land on D on 12 on the D string. Then. Just playing an E on 12. And just kind of, to, as it fades out, just kind of, just kind of randomly just going up, going up the neck with that. And that is Space Oddity. Thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers.